I want to thank all of the applicants for taking the time. So this is the first time we've ever done this. It's our United Way Venture Fund. And really what we're trying to do is identify some real groundbreaking solutions to intractable community problems and looking to our region's nonprofits for those solutions. The eight finalists here tonight were chosen through a rigorous process. Aetna was looking for ways to go into the community in a deeper, more meaningful level to address social determinants of health, which really um, are imperative um, initiatives for us. Tremendous opportunity to, to dig into the community and have the community come back to us and tell us what they really need, because that's where it starts. It's not just about helping people when they're sick, it's about helping people more broadly. They can bring up new creative ideas, solutions that we can try to scale and come up with new ways to address. And I think having that kind of entrepreneurial experimentation is critical. This grant actually changes the way that we're doing our work. It's actually allowing us to move upstream in our prevention services to reach children before they and their families are actually evicted from their homes. We would not have been able to do that without this grant. It took us 27 years to get to that point. It will allow us to take a proven model where we've declared one city food secure and be able to apply those principles in uh, the community in our region with the highest number of food insecure individuals, Newburyport. This is going to launch the whole effort and allow us to be able to both develop the curriculum, develop the internships, and be able to test to see how this will work out with a group of 12 students initially, and we'll build on that. This is going to bring to fruition a dream that our partners have collectively had for like five or six years now. We've been talking about this idea, recognizing this problem, and thinking about how we could really change the culture of the employment landscape in the Merrimack Valley.